time because I'll want to go over that. And I want to, this is going to be kind of a discussion. I'm going to go through some stuff, but I want us, we're going to take an example and use an example as we get going further in here about what we're going to do. I'm going to concentrate more on the legislative side of things, even though the regulatory side is just as important. Okay, so, but you, the panel's going to talk more about regulatory things, I think. So we will, I won't spend a whole lot of time on that, but we're just going to get some background and then hopefully we'll, um, you guys can discuss with me. And with, there's been some issues that we've been talking about that have come up that we might talk about, well, how did we get involved in that policy and what's actually going on there and how can we be more influential? Okay, so first of all, some definitions, okay? Um, policy is a plan of action agreed to by a group of people with the power to carry it out and enforce it, okay? Plan of action, power to carry it out and enforce it. So laws are policies, regulations, principles, guidelines, the, the stuff, you know, where you work, the rules that you work by. Those are all policies. So policy is at all levels. Okay, so another way to look at it, policy is what has to be done, who's going to do it, and how is it going to be done. Okay, so if you're writing, we're looking at legislation. That's, those are the things that we have to write into that legislation. What do we want done, who's going to do it, and how is it going to be done? Sometimes the how becomes in the regulatory side of things, um, which we are, we will, I'll talk about later. Okay, so you can have personal policy, you can have organizational policy, and you can have public policy. We tend to talk more about which one of these? Public, public policy. I mean, that's kind of what we're going to do today. But some of the examples that I wanted, to, if we have time to discuss what's happening with this naturally slim diet in Iowa, that's organizational policy. That's not public policy. Okay, so here's some examples of all of these. Um, so personal policy is the standards you or I set for our own decisions and actions. So I have a policy that says I'm not going to drive over the speed limit, as an example. Or here's another one. I choose to buy local food to support local farmers and the local economy. That's my personal policy. An example of organizational policy, or the definition, is that it guides organizations on decisions that they make. And an organization, if it's not public, makes those decisions based on whatever it wants to. You know, it's board of directors, whoever is making the decisions. The, the owner of the organization makes those decisions. So I gave another example here. Hy-Vee has organic milk from local producers. They've made the decision that they want to sell that, and there's a market for it. They wouldn't be sell I know Hy-Vee well enough to know that if they didn't think they could sell it, they wouldn't be carrying it. Their decisions, from a policy standpoint, are mostly made on an economics, from an economic standpoint. And then the third area is public policy. This guides how federal, state, and municipal. So federal level, state level, we're working at the state level today, and then municipal is city, you know, or county level. Operate and address specific issues or problems. And typically, think about that. You don't have laws unless there's some issue they have to take care of, right? They don't just make laws, sometimes you might think they do, for the heck of it, but really, laws are there because there's an issue that somebody wants to address. Um, and here's an, ex well, I'm sorry. They're developed through a process. Remember I said personal is you make the decision, organizational, probably the board of directors or whoever owns the company. Public policy is developed through a process that involves input from citizens, government staff, and elected officials. Now, what we're going to talk about today and what we've been working on, for example, Medicaid reimbursement, I would argue that sometimes government staff has too much input and that they're not listening to other people because they're making decisions without us having a whole lot of input. And they can kind of give us the runaround for a long time to put us off and we just get tired of battling them. Um, and here's an example of a public policy. Des Moines public schools do not allow the sale of sugared soft drinks in schools. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how we as dietitians influence policy. Number one is know your issue. What is it that you want to do? And we're going to use an example, and I'll let you guys pick one. Know who your opposition is. Who's going to fight you on this? Okay? Know the policy process 
And we're going to go through that just a little bit. Um, you don't need to memorize it. That's kind of the, you know, going back to high school. But you need to know what goes on so you know where to intervene. And who are the policy makers? And I'd be the first to say, I don't know everybody over there at that legislature. I have my book with me that I can look up people. And I was embarrassed enough to say, there's a di somebody that's trained in dietetics over there that I didn't even know that because she doesn't call, doesn't call herself a dietitian. But she, I, when I read all about her history, I'm reading down the lines, I go, oh my gosh. She was trained as a, a dietitian in India. Now, she's actually a new senator. But we should be all over her. You know? And we are going to try and meet her. Anne, did you get an appointment with her? Yeah, um, she said drop by. She's okay. one of those knock on the chamber door. Okay, so I'll be well. Some of us will, one of the groups, because she potentially can help us. Now, we don't have any bills this year. You know, before we've had bills, we had actually pieces of legislation, like the Healthy Kids Act or whatever, that we were supporting as an organization and trying to get passed. We really don't have any this year. I'm going to give you a couple of examples of pieces of legislation that we might want to have, you know, talk about that are on the floor that passed out of um, committee last week. Last week was the funnel day. And what's happened in that legislature this year, if any of you are following it, is they're going real fast. They're trying to get done in two months. And it's stuff is just going really fast. I'm not sure they're getting a whole lot done. But there's a couple of them that we um, should probably follow and have some input in. 